and welcome to my channel Maths Progress. In this video, I am going to explain you what is multiplication. So let's get started. Now, multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Yes, it is repeated addition. Then why do we call it repeated addition? That is because multiplication is a short way of finding the sum when all the add-ins are the same. Say you have to add the same number again and again and again. Say you are adding 2 5 times. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. You are adding 2 5 times. So 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 10. It is the short way of finding the sum when all the add-ins are the same. So let's check out and understand in a more better way taking example what is repeated addition that is multiplication. Suppose you have to add 3 5 times. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to add 3 5 times. That is 5 times 3. That gives you 15. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. And 12 plus 3, 15. So we say 5 times 3 is 15. So this can be written as 5 into 3 that gives us 15. That is 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So we call it in short 5 3's are 15. That is 5 times 3's is equal to 15. Okay. Here the number which is when multiplied is called the multiplicand. The number with which we multiply is called the multiplier and the answer or the result is known as the product. Let us understand this in a different way in terms of group. Say you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plates. In each plate, if I keep 2x, okay, each plate has 2x, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Plus 2. That is 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. And 8 plus 2, 10. We have all together 5 plates. Okay. And in each plate we have 2 eggs each. Right. So here we have 5 groups and in each group we have 2 each. Hence we can write this as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? 5 times 2. That gives us 10. In short, we can write this as 5 into 2 is equal to 10. 5 twos are 10. Let us understand the same fact placing it on the number line. Let's draw the number line first. Say, we have a long number line. Here we start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Say we have till 10. Let's write the numbers first. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we have to represent... 5 into 2 that gives us 10. Okay? So you already know 5 here is called the multiplicand because this is the number which has been multiplied. The number with which we multiply that is here 2 in this case it is called the multiplier and the result or the answer is called the product. Okay? Now 5 times 2 we have to make 5 groups of 2 each. So let's take it's from we always start with 0. So from 0 to 2 that gives us 2. So we get 2 then 1 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 
plus 2. Ultimately, we get 10. So, how many groups we have formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have formed 5 groups. And how many we have in each group? In each group here, we have 2 each. 1, 2. Again, 1, 2. Right? 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. So, each group has 2 each. Okay? Here, the add-ins are the 2. We are adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Here, 2 is the add. Okay? Now, the add-ins are the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are adding 2 5 times. Okay? So, we get is equal to 10. So, shortly, we can write 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals to 10 as 5 into 2 equal to 10. Okay? So, this is same. 2 added 5 times is same as 5 into 2. Say you have 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Here how many times we have 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have added 4, 5 times. Our add-ins are the same. So this gives us how much? 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. This can be written as like this. Or you can write it in the multiplication form. How? 5 times 4. That gives you 20. This can be represented again on the number line. Let's see how to represent 5 into 4 equal to 20 on the number line. Okay? Here we have the long number line. Let us begin with 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So we have exactly 20 on the number line. So, so let's take 4 one time. Then again 4 two times. 4 three times. 4 four times and 4 five times. Alright. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here you should know one more thing. 5 and 4 are also called factors. Instead of calling 5 as multiplicant, 4 as multiplier and 20 as product, we can say 5 and 4 are the factors and 20 is the product. Okay? So in this video, I have only this much for you. In the next video, I will come up with the properties of multiplication. Before we actually learn to multiply, these are the some basic things that you should know. What is multiplication and why do we multiply? Till I come back with the next part, stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye.